Good morning. <laughs> I'm taking you with me on an adventure today. I am actually going to take you outside today. Imagine that, a nerve talking head. It is slightly challenging for me because I have actually never been filming anything. Like, I have filmed outside, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be talking to the camera because I am super shy to do that, but we will see. I'm taking you on a little adventure. We're going to the place uh, around Athens because there's quite a few really nice places around Athens um, that are worth visiting. I'm planning to see majority of them, if not all of them. Today we're going to one that is really close to the centre. We're going to be taking metro, then we're going to take a bus, and then we're going to walk up, uh, walk up the hill a little bit. I think so. I have not been there yet, so I'm going there for the first time. So I have no idea how it's going to go. I have no idea if it's even worth it. I don't know if it's nice or if it's not nice. So we will find out together. All right, it's a beautiful day in Athens today. I have no idea what, what they're going to be like for the rest of the weekend. So we're just going to grab our stuff. I'm just preparing and charging my camera. And I'll be leaving in five minutes and I will take you with me on the metro, on the bus, and we're going to go up the hill. And uh, hopefully we will be able to see some panoramic views of Athens as well. So yeah, let's go and let's see how that's going to go. Let's go. So now we have 45 minutes walk, apparently. <laughs> so I got off the last stop of that bus. It's just a straight walk along this road. But at some point we should get more like into the woods. I think so. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep walking now for 45 minutes. And I will see you again when we are almost there. Yes, so this is already quite interesting <laughs> because I genuinely thought that this is going to be just a footpath. I'm not sure how you can hear me because I actually don't have a microphone. So, and the road next to me is quite busy. But basically the way it is right now, as you can see, there is a road on the left side. And we're walking this uh, rocky kind of footpath which is quite interesting and I don't know which way I should go I think this way <laughs> it's actually marked look it actually is marked like a trail which is not really a trail because it's still almost in the city and there's a road next to us but that's quite cool all right so we up, you see, I have a tripod now, so that's super cool. All right, so I really hope you can hear me. So where we are now, it's a little bit quieter, although, although there is a road, 
And now I'm thinking, because there's two places we need to go and see. There's one there, <laughs> and then there is one at the top. And I'm just thinking maybe we should go to the top, because then that's going to be quiet and I will be able to talk to you. But then maybe the first place is going to be already closed. Okay, let's go and check out the first place. So we are almost at the bottom of that mountain that I see from my balcony. I think it's called Himetus Mountain. As we're walking into the woods, <laughs> ish, um, I'll tell you a little story about what happened to me. I'm just thinking maybe I should go up there. I'll show you. Look. Hmm. Should I go up there? No. Okay. Did I tell you already that I'm trying to talk to camera in public and there's people on the other side? I mean, one person, okay? With headphones, so they can't hear me. All right, let's crack on with it. So, during my travels and before my travels as well, I really enjoy hiking. I am not the best hiker in the world. I'm a slow hiker. I, my stamina is not the best, but I love hiking and Hiking is something that I think we can do regardless of our stamina because we, only can, we can only get better and you know not going hiking because we're not strong enough is the same like not doing yoga because we are not flexible enough meaning what well, we're too sick to go to the doctor basically so doesn't matter long story short I went traveling and I went tra and I hiked a lot I hiked alone, a lot, in a lot of places. I hiked in Madeira. Madeira is amazing for hiking. I also hiked in Spain. I hiked in Portugal. I think we're going to go up. Should we go up? Yeah, let's go up. So, and I'll be puffing in a moment because that road is going up. So, I never really gave it too much though. Oh, I even hiked in Colombia in some places where we were safe to hike. But I like hiking solo because I don't have a group to catch up on. I don't feel bad that people have to wait for me if I want to stop and catch a breath or if I want to stop and take photos. I can just do it in my own pace. So, of course, I would always make a research about the best hikes and if they're safe and if they're safe to go solo all that but I never really <laughs> made much research when it comes to wildlife I don't know where you're from but where I'm from wildlife is not much of an issue uh, I, I was born in a city I'm scared of cows yeah I know it's ridiculous but I am actually scared of cows I'm scared of very very big animals and don't know maybe one day it's gonna get better but don't know anyway so i went to north macedonia last year yes last year i have to look down because there's a lot of boulders you see look there's a lot of and i'm wearing yes and i'm wearing jeans and my sketches because i didn't know it's gonna look like this so great hiker i am but anyway to continue so I went to North Macedonia, which I love. The Lake Ohrid is one of the most magical places I have ever seen in the world. It's amazing. And there are beautiful mountains surrounding Lake Ohrid. And everybody was saying how amazing it is to hike there. So I decided I'm going to go hiking. But this is the area that is not very popular, which is a good thing because it's very much untouched. It's not spoiled by people. Uh, so I've heard about all these amazing hikes and how famous those trails there are and all that. But someone mentioned bears. I was like, nah. They said, but when they mentioned, you know when someone mentions something, it just goes into your head and you just can't get it out of your head. So I started asking, like, are there bears in there? They said, no, those are trails. Even if they are bears, they are bears. They, <laughs> they stay away from the trails and all that. You know, sometimes something has to happen to you before you realize 
what can happen? <laughs> so I went hiking and I was supposed to do the easy hike, very, very popular one, which is not far from Ohrid. But a guy that was working in the hostel that I was staying in at that time, I stayed in that hostel for a long time. We made friends with everybody that was uh, working there. He said to me, oh, there is this amazing hike that is like off the beaten path and stuff. I'll take you there, we go by bus and then you go hiking from there. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. So he took me there by bus. He left me there and I went hiking. The trails were very well marked. Those were some, one of, some of the, I'm sorry for my puffing, by the way. Those were some of um, the best, best marked trails I've ever seen. Really good. You could not get lost. But the trail that I was originally supposed to take was going up, but it was going up in the woods. And I kept walking and walking and I kept walking in the woods. I'm not a big fan of walking up in the woods. I like views. I like vistas. Uh, what I like about mountains and hills and what I, it's just that you see, <laughs> is that you see beautiful things. <laughs> and when you get to the top, you feel accomplished and then you have views. So I got bored and then as I walked up there, I also have seen a very loud pool <laughs> and it freaked me out. I was like, I'm not going to walk in these woods. There's big animals here. I'm just going to go back because when I started that trail, I seen another trail that was going, was like a rich, rich trail. So you could actually, you walked on the side of the mountain and you could see the sea and I mean not the sea the lake Ohrid which looked like a sea we could see the lake Ohrid on the right side and beautiful mountains on the left side which for me it was much better anyway because look how beautiful it is how awesome I love it here so I decided to go back and take that the more picturesque trail and it seemed to me a little bit safer because it was more exposed. There was like lots of exposed fields. <laughs> so I'm walking, not a single soul apart from me on that trail. I was walking already for probably like one hour and a half and I haven't met a single person. And I'm walking, beautiful views on the right side. On the left side, there were mountains and some bushes. And I walk and suddenly I hear the noise. Only thinking about it just gives me goosebumps. I heard the noise and I was 100% sure the bush on the left side moved, like rattled, and then I heard the noise. And I was like, this is a bear. Because I've never heard a voice like this, like the sound like this, ever. And also, although I have a tendency to panic, I think in the toughest situations, like really tough situations, I kind of get my shit together most of the time. But I knew what it was. I knew exactly what it was. And when I was telling to people later about it, they said, oh, did you look? I was like, what, what is wrong with you? Why would I look? So I did not see it face to face, which is probably a good thing because I would probably just die of heart attack. I, I just cannot imagine what... I would do if I seen a bear face to face. Something inside me told me that I should not run, which then after that I read that it was a very good decision, but I definitely started walking much, much faster. I continued on that trail, but then because I was already shitting myself and I knew the trail goes for another two hours, I had enough. I was like, I want to get out of here as soon as so I walked 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 and then I stood by the trail sign you know there is this signs with different trails sometimes and the one that I wanted to take was telling me another two hours the faster one was one hour but I would have to go back on myself I was like I'm not going back on myself I'm not going there so this was the moment when I felt panic I was in these mountains, completely on my own, and I didn't do something. So please learn from my mistake. I have not taken any phone numbers from my hostel, 
from the owners of the hostel, from the guy that uh, brought me to that trail. I literally had nobody to call. And I am the first one to always give advice about hiking safely. And I didn't do it. I was shitting myself. One good thing that I did, because obviously in situations like this, Google is useless. But so one good thing that I did was that I've downloaded uh, Maps Me, and I've obviously downloaded the uh, offline maps. Maps Me is the best for hiking in places where you would think there would be no trail, uh, there would be no map. It is there. So luckily. I went inside of me, like my heart be beating. I, I was like, I was so stressed. I could feel it in my legs. You know, when your legs are just like of stone, it was crazy. And I found the trail that was going right down to like a little village. I would have to go back on myself just a little bit. I would not have to go back to that place where I've heard the noise. So I decided to do that. So I went back <laughs> and then I found the trail and I just went down. I am not a runner and I'm definitely not a trail runner. Not running in all mountain trails. And luckily the shoes that I was having, they were trail runners. I ran down. I literally ran down. So I suddenly became a person that does trail running. It was around half an hour down the hill. And when I finally got to that little village and the relief I mean I felt so lucky I mean I know I did a lot of research after that bears don't attack people they they have no interest in us at all they don't want to eat us they don't want to have anything to do with us they would only only attack us if they feel threatened so anyway long story short I did have a couple of other things that day and then I came back to the hostel. So, you know sometimes when you hear things but you don't see things, you start double-guessing yourself, questioning yourself. So I decided I'm going to test it. I'm going to see what it was that I've heard because it definitely was loud and it definitely was scary. So I uh, went on YouTube, our friend of YouTube, and I, and I knew that there are brown bears in these mountains so I basically googled a sound of growling uh, brown bear <laughs> and when I heard the noise when I heard the sound I knew that that was exactly what I've heard I'll be honest with you it slightly traumatized me for hiking solo in the mountains I know a lot of people love it and a lot of people love like going and actually want to see the bears me I don't I am fine not seeing a bear ever, ever, ever in my life. The, what I've learned after that, after lots of reading and researching, bears don't like the smell of people. They stay away. So that's why it's always recommended to go in groups because the more of us, the more we smell. So they would stay ar uh, uh, away, make noise. You know, there are these rattling things that like keep the animals, wild animals away. But there are beautiful mountains here which I don't think I'm ever going to hike by myself. So I need to find some hiking buddies because I want to go hiking. But I will take you hiking with me because there are some coastal hikes here as well. I'm definitely uh, going to do some of the coastal hikes. So I'll take you there. But this is the story. And now I'm just going to go to the place where I am planning to go to. We actually have two points to visit. So let's go and see the first attraction of today. Let's go. So, <laughs> all this amazing planning of mine failed because we are here a little bit too late to go inside. The monastery is closed. I think it closed at four or five o'clock and we are quarter past five. So we are 15 minutes too late, but that's fine. <laughs> it's very beautiful here. It's so peaceful. There's like this little gardens and woods around it. And I do believe that this is the monastery. So this monastery is one of the oldest monasteries in Athens region. It's been built first, for the first time in the 11th century. It's meant to be very beautiful inside. So I do apologize that we're not going to see it inside, but we're going to see one more place anyway. So if you are in Athens, 
especially if you are in the center we're going to be going there as well especially if you are in the center you can come and see it it's very easy that bus that i took it's from the center from syntagma yeah so that bus that i took was from syntagma square it took only 20 minutes and then you have a really beautiful walk it's a really nice place let's see if we can see something of the monastery i'll show you that and then we're gonna go up to the viewpoint it looks like there is like a museum there as well with some photo gallery there are not many people here right now okay this place is super cool i love it here you should definitely come here if you have time when you're in Athens and you're tired of the busyness of the city and want to see the nature, you should definitely come here. So let me take a look at the map and uh, we're going to go to the viewpoint. The sun is setting soon, so I hope we're going to see some really cool views. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay. So the monastery is called Kaisariani Monastery. Monastery. I hope I said it right. And now we go into the. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't Google how to say it, but I think you say it. Takiarkes Hill. Takiarkes Hill. You let me know. Anyway, this is where we're going. There's not many people. There's some. You can see there's some people coming with the cars and stuff but it's not a lot of people out here so there's not too many people it's five it's after five o'clock but it's saturday so i thought on saturday this place is going to be more busy it probably was more busy it probably was busier than uh, now when the monastery was actually open oh i don't even know if it's open on saturday i didn't check that so yeah, yes, and yet again, I went somewhere without checking, but it's okay. You see, there's a sweet spot. If I made it a little bit later, then I would be here right for the sunset. And I'm not going to be sitting here for one hour waiting for the sunset, but I still think it's going to be really nice. But if I made it one hour earlier, <laughs> then I will probably make it for the, for the mon monastery. Monastery, that's how you say it and um, but made it for neither so welcome in my life <laughs> uh, every day is an adventure this is really nice we really like it here don't we I think we do yeah this is one of those things that really energizes me doing things like that just Going back to the nature and going, checking out little hills. And I think this is like an olive garden. <gasps> look at that view. Oh, wow, look at that view. I'm not sure how much you can see. This is just a phone. But this is gorgeous. Okay, let's go to the top.
know about you, <laughs> but I feel satisfied. Even though the monastery was closed, and but this place is just so magical. I'm sorry, I know that my camera is not really giving it much justice. It's just so much more beautiful <laughs> in person. So I highly, highly recommend coming here when you're in Athens. It's a really great place and there's a lot of hiking trails around as well. There's a lot of different viewpoints around here. So you can actually spend easily half a day just walking around here and the view is to die for. It's just so gorgeous. I'm going to stay here for a little bit. Just uh, chill. I'm probably not going to stay until sunset because there's still another hour and I'm hungry <laughs> so I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit and chill I really hope you enjoy this mini adventure with me if you like uh, going out and explore places around Athens that are really not that well known and not too many people know about let me know I have a couple more ideas there's definitely at least two other places that I really want to take you to. Oh, that's so much. <laughs> I will leave you with that. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to chill here for a moment. Then walk all the way back, take the bus and go home and eat something. <laughs> and enjoy for the rest, the rest of the weekend. And I wish the same to you. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. If you like what I'm doing here, just subscribe please give me a thumbs up because it definitely helps the algorithm thank you for being here thank you for walking with me and enjoying my adventure <laughs> i'll see you next week take care <laughs> bye